welcome to the series of learn rxjs in this video we are going to look at how to set up our project to work with rxjs so let's get started we have already crossed three videos without the code so you must be definitely bored so let's go ahead and start setting up our project so what we are going to do basically are three simple steps we are going to first check out the code from the below link or you can see the link in the description below we are going to do npm install which installs our dependencies basically rxjs typescript and webpack and then we are going to start our project using the command npm run start this project will be available on localhost 880 so you can just open that url on the browser and open the browser of the project so let's get started i'll copy this url first i'll copy the git url of the project and I'll go ahead and say git clone. So this is going to download the project from the git and it will be available in the folder. And over here, as we can see, we have package.json. That means we'll have to run our second step it will install our dependencies rxjs typescript and webpack we are going to run it npm install we will wait for the dependencies and it will be downloaded quite shortly once your dependencies are installed we are going to start our project we are going to start by running npm run start and it will be available on localhost 880 as it is shown over here so it will be available on this URL, localhost 880. Now I can just go ahead and open the page. Go to the SRC, you just click SRC and you can open the URL on localhost slash localhost 880 slash SRC. Over here, you can see the title learning observables and a small text named hi. So, this is what you should expect once you have done npm install and npm run start. Once you have done this, give yourself a big thumbs up. You have already set up the project and you are good to go. The next thing that I wanted to show you is how I log out the result. Here is we are creating HTML element li. We are appending the text node to it, and which will be part of the HTML element that we have just created. And then we'll be appending the text node to the output element, which is a UL. So basically, you can see the output of UL and li uh, on the page itself rather than going to console, which will be much more comfortable for us. So this function is already available inside the code. Once you check out, you don't need to worry about it. And as I done, the good function is instead of looking at the output like this we are going to look at the output like this so this would be much more comfortable for you and much more easy to visualize the result so that's the gate 55 file now i've divided this course into different different sections like importing rxjs creating our first observables multiple subscriptions subjects behavioral subjects different kinds of operators and all of these are divided into exercise files these exercise files are branches on the git repository so if you want to work on any of the files you can just go to the branch which does not have the finish appended to it and you can start working on that the branch which has finish appended to the name has the solution so if you are stuck at some point or if you're not able to understand the code you can just quickly jump to the branch which has finish and you can easily go ahead and get the solution let's import rxjs and check if everything is working fine for importing rxjs what we are going to do is we are going to use import statement and we are going to import observable from rxjs and log it out if we get the log of the message then everything is fine else we'll need to see the dependencies are installed or not properly let's go ahead and do the importing of the rxjs now this is how the code will appear once you check out the code and what you are going to do is just go ahead and simply remove these lines and we're just going to add and 
we are going to import observable from RxJS. Once this observable is imported, we are going to do console dot log observable. And let's go ahead and look if we get the output or not. We're just going to go ahead and open this. And I'm going to open the console. And I'm going to go ahead and see, yes, the observable is visible. And that means my RxJS is imported successfully and it's working fine. The project is working totally fine and you're all good to go. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how we can create our first observable. Until then, keep watching, learn RxJS. Thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos like this, please like, subscribe and share my channel Everyday JavaScript. And for any other concepts that you want me to explain visually, please drop your comments in the comments section. And thank you for watching.